Hello beautiful and welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we actually are trying a bunch of products that I do have in Shop My Stash currently and we're applying them on my face creating this beautiful look and we're going to test out to see how these um, products are going to last on my face how good are they because I'm trying to test them out to see if they're good enough to uh, put them on during my wedding and uh, there you go if you're interested to see how these products are going to wear down then continue watching so we're going to try to start with this Neutrogena Shine Control Primer that has a rice protein complex I really do enjoy this one I tried it the other day and it has like this white composition but it feels like a little bit um I don't know how to explain it but it feels like you actually putting on on an exfoliant like you can it's a little bit abrasive which is weird right to be uh, such an abrasive product considering that this is a primer so I'm not sure how this one uh why is it this way but it's definitely not painful or anything like that it's just a, a weird sensation um to have for a primer but it definitely works for the foundation i'm definitely gonna go with huda beauty today i want to try this one and see if it's gonna last on my face for longer than usual usually this one lasts on me for like maybe a six hour and it looks really amazing but after that it's starting to not look that great so we'll see if this primer can actually help it for the under eyes we're gonna go with the charlotte tilbury um the color corrector in medium and i'm gonna go with this under my eyes it's absolutely beautiful i love how this looks every time i wear this it looks amazing and as you can see i have a big pan in it so i'm gonna definitely go in there with this one and this is the only thing that we're gonna apply under the eyes. Set my entire face and my under eyes. I'm gonna go with this uh, Marc Jacobs 34 Invisible Finish Line Powder. This is a really nice, beautiful powder that I absolutely uh, love to set my makeup with because it keeps my makeup in place for many, many hours, but also it is not, doesn't leave a white cast. It doesn't uh, make my face look dry or anything like that. And it looks really, and it has a very nice blurring effect. So I filled in my brows with this uh, NYX Lift and Snatch in Express. So this is, this is a tint pen. And then we're gonna go with this Kiko Milano um, Dolce Diva Big Bronzer in Perfect Sienna. This one looks really beautiful and it smells really gorgeous and I really do enjoy it. So let's go with this one. For the blush, we're going to go with the Cover FX Spice Cinnamon. And this is the color. I really like this color and I think it's going to look really nice uh, for all day because it's going to last all day. And then for um, a highlighter, I do have one from uh, Hourglass that is in uh, Vanish Gold Flash. This one is really pretty. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to go ahead and put a brush on it and then just kind of swipe that around. That looks really pretty and I do really like this one. And then eyes, I'm definitely going to go with one of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, quads. I'm going to go with the Pillow Talk one because this one it's very easy to come up with a look. And I'm going to go with the darker shade all over the lid. And then I'm going to go and take the one that is a little bit lighter and then put that a little bit closer to the brow. And I'm going to take my finger and go with the sparkly one and add that right in the middle. 
And then I'm gonna take my other finger and go with the other one that is more like a shimmer and add that in the same space and then go with the sparkle on top. And then I go with whatever is left on this and just trace that right under the eye. Look how easy that is. Super, super quick and easy. So for the eyes, I only decided I decided to go with a liner just in my waterline, and this is from Pure and is in brown. And then for mascara, I went with this uh, Lancome Lush Idol mascara. It's the first time I'm trying this mascara on, and I really do enjoy it. It has a nice curl, but also beautiful lengthening. I'm excited to see how this is gonna go throughout the day. If it's gonna transfer or not how it's gonna look like at the end of the day if it's gonna keep the curl and the lengthening as well now for lips i'm gonna go with the kkw uh, new two liner and then i'm gonna go with a new 2.5 uh lipstick and for lip gloss i'm gonna go with charlotte tilbury ibiza nights i've said everything with this airbrush flawless setting spray from charlotte tilbury and off we go to see how this makeup is going to wear throughout the day. I'll keep you posted. All right, guys. So it's been 12 hours since I had this um, makeup on. So let's assess the damage. Uh, the face is still looking pretty nice. Although it's been 12 hours, I've been wearing my mask for at least an hour. And then um, been out and about. So... The makeup face is still looking good. It does look a little bit more oily. In certain spots, I think the foundation disappeared around my mouth a little bit more. The lip liner is still hanging in certain areas. The uh, mascara is not too bad. It didn't transfer much. I think it transferred just a tiny bit. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good the blush is still there so the blush is definitely golden for this the eye makeup is still looking nice the brows are still around so that's a plus but for 12 hours of wearing i would say this is pretty good i do need to see a little bit more of what other foundation i can combine and how they can look like but for now i would say this is a nice option I think if I can powder a little bit my face throughout the day, because I haven't done anything to my face, this is it. Um, but I think if I powder my face a little bit throughout the day, it's going to look a little bit better. But I definitely want to try the other options as well to see which one I'm going to pick. But this, I would say it's pretty dang good. All right, thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to see you all next time with another video. Have a nice one. Bye now.